Hello! Currently, we're working hard on the hotfixes, and unfortunately, they sometimes break something. And because you've planned to visit Flint Rock Grassland today, we must warn you that the last hotfix breaks this location. It's a problem with the event trigger, so the zone doesn't work as intended. There shouldn't be any technical issues. It just destroys the whole experience. So please, don't go there for now. Hotfix is in the works, should be released today in the evening, and we are going to warn our community about this bug as soon as possible. So, that is from... Owlcat. So that puts us in this interesting position. And I actually, but and actually, let me let me just go ahead and, and go back and forth about this. They were super cool because I told them straight up. I was like, hey, like I can I cannot do that, no problem. But I was told that because I agreed to this thing for Amiri, that I'm gonna lose her if I don't go and do it. And they and I was like, it, you know, without spoiling, can you give me a little insight about how this works mechanically? Like, what can we do? And what he said is, um, and again, this is from Owlcat, and I can't thank them enough for doing this. I really like, this is not something most devs do. Um, basically, Amiri leaves the party for some time, and there are no hidden timers for her rejoining or leaving the party. She should come back if, if you do things as they do, as, as you want to do. Um, so in other words, it's not related to a timer, but she should come back after Flintlock Grasslands. And then he goes on to say, but I must warn you, the world lives by your actions, and when you perform them, it will affect future events. <laughs> so, like, he did put a little disclaimer in there. But, um, so, so that's, that's where we are right now. So, a big thank you to Owlcat for keeping us a little posted here. Um, now, he did actually say that we could do the quest. So, I could go there and do it right now. But the issue is that the last hotfix broke it a little bit, so it, it wouldn't be the event they intended. Like, apparently, maybe some dialogue gets missed or a trigger doesn't go off. We could complete it. But, um, so yeah, we're, we're going to do that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to... The, the patch, they said, should be out later today, like earlier in the evening. Um, so we'll just do some some map exploration and maybe do a little bit of uh, development. And uh, worst case, we'll lose the time between now and the patch. But that's like a worst case. Um... So yeah, that's that's kind of what we're doing. I just wanted to kind of keep you guys posted with the situation, let you guys know what I know essentially, and uh, also just again a big shout out to uh, to the Owlcat guys for keeping me posted on this. Asgard says there is a timer. It's not about a Miri, but your allies might get messed up. I would suggest doing Grasslands. Yeah, I, I'm. We're, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. I, I'm. I'm. Definitely wanting to do this as right as possible. So we may just go and actually like do the encounter and see how bad it is. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But I can tell you that uh, right now we have lots of other things we can do. And uh, I think we'll check some of those out. Start a monk. Plenty of time to re-roll. God, I kind of... I, dude, don't say stuff like that. I like... I, I kind of want to. Um... Hmm. We got a lot of gear to look at. We got a lot of gear to sell. Let's let's get let's get let's take care of all this. It's not a timer. It only matters what quest you do first. Yeah, one one thing that I that that was mentioned and that I definitely plan on following is the fact that like you you should not do candle mirror before the other one. Like you you kind of need to prioritize the order. Um so I'm hoping if we prioritize the order then we'll be good to go there. Can you check to see if you're able to use summon monster spells on the ground out of combat? Every time I try it in my game, it fails with no combat log message? Uh, hmm. I'll have to see. Sorry, 79. I'm not sure. Nope, nope. I'm, I have no idea. Seems to work fine All for me. According to plan. I don't know. Weird. Doing Candomir first can be interesting for other reasons, though. Oh, I bet. I bet. They, they already said there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, like, little, little decisions like that can make a big impact on your game. Which is pretty awesome. All right. I want to save one dueling sword... What is a Tongi? It's an exotic weapon? I don't even know what that is. Um, 
I don't need an S stock. I don't have any S stock users. I don't think I'm going to be using a falchion. Mm, Eternal Conduit is 2d4 plus 2. This is also 2d4 plus 2. Death Reservoir and Keen or Arcane Inscriptions? Mm, okay, that's not great for our girl. What about you? Whenever you score a critical hit with this weapon, you emit a wave of negative energy that deals 4d6 damage to everyone around you. Uh, I don't know about either of those. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Here's another dueling sword. Camera plus three plus keen. Probably go ahead and sell that guy. Short bow plus two. I'm gonna put that on Lindsay. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell this troll reaper. I don't. I don't really need that anymore. Kind of outgrown that a little bit. Put that away. Oh, we also got this crazy cloak of sold souls. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And Mad Scientist Gloves. These gloves grant their wear fire resistance 15 and acid resistance 15. That's kind of awesome. And then we have a six con belt. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Zero armor check penalty with four armor class. Hmm. Okay. Can I sing you a lullaby? Sure. <gasps> there you go. Did that that help? Did that help? I hope that helped. Uh, let's do all the build points. All of them. Just, just all the build points. Um. Okay. Boop. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, do you have anything new? The other guy had new stuff. Um... No, I don't think so. That's a bummer. So the other guy got new stuff, but this guy didn't. Okay, let's take a look here. First, we got our girl Val, who is wearing full plate plus one. I think we gotta get the dragon scale plate on her. She also has a four con belt. Let's give her a six con belt. We'll also give her the DR gloves. Uh, we will give her a better. Sure, we'll give her a shroud of Amadon for even more resistances in DR. Um, we will give her. Hmm, amulet of natural armor plus two. And I think we're good. We gotta get her a better bastard sword. I don't think I'm gonna get much more than that on her. I could also give her, um, oh, I don't have a Miri's. I was gonna say I could give her a Miri's boots, but doesn't Ko have like things that make him move fast? Yeah, let's put the movement speed boots on Val. Cause Val, Val's coming back out. Like she's coming back out, dudes. She has to, we've lost a Miri, so. Um, let's go ahead and put, Oh, damn. Oh, hers is better. Okay, I think I'm just going to sell these. I'm going to sell both of those. Yeah. Uh, is full plate plus one better for Harem? Nope, he's wearing it. Okay. Uh, maybe I could make an extra cleric companion? You know what? No, I, th I think I'm just going to try to ride this out with these guys. Yeah. I think I'm just going to try to ride it out with these guys. Hmm. We'll give him more resistances. Actually, we'll give him the cloak resistance plus three, I think. Yeah. He's got natural armor plus two. That's fine. Do, 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 Okay. He's looking okay. Valerie's still using that flame guard shield. I wish we could do better. Oh, there's a plus two ring on her. Nice. That'll work. Okay. And she has, like... Well, okay, one thing I need some help with, chat. Um, should I keep leveling her up? I have three levels in Arcane Defender, or, uh, or Stalwart Defender. I've got her up to here, which I wanted. I got her Uncanny Dodge. Should I go back into Fighter? 
I mean, I feel like there's some really good stuff in Fighter I don't have yet. So, can I go back into Fighter? Level Defender for the tank? For the DR, you mean? Get Defender to 7, at least? Yeah, a lot of people stay Fighter. I wanted to get a little bit of Star Wars Defender. I wanted to get the defensive stance. Okay, I think we'll I think we'll go back into fighter for a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll go back into fighter for a little bit. Cool. Um, we could do another point in con, but I think I may want to get the extra modifier in strength, and then we can go back into con later. Level one in monk. I we could we could. That's an option. But now she got Tower Shield Defense, which is awesome. So I'm, I'm down with that. Look at all these resistances she has. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll throw a monk in there for her. I don't know. We'll have to see. And I think, you know what? I think I may, I think there's a Bastard Sword over here that's better than what she's using. Let me take a look. I think it's time to just drop some money on that Bastard Sword. Um... Where is it? It's, I know it's here somewhere. Maybe I already passed it. Scimitar. I must have already passed it. Where is it? It was like a something bastard sword plus one, like a blazing or something, maybe? Was it blazing? No. Oh, it's flaming. There it is. You guys get that. Bam! There it is. So now she's got a fire tower shield and a flaming bastard sword. Nice. Nice. I'll take it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go... Let's see, we got a couple more things to sell real quick. I'm gonna sell the dueling swords, because I'm not really using... And, and I'm not really using someone for that. I'm not really using an exotic weapon user. I don't need the scythe, because she has a good scythe. I don't we really have a long sword user? I'm gonna put that on our girl. I'll save the shields. Well, one of the shields. I'll save the buckler. Just in case. We can sell the full plate plus one. We can sell the rank one ring. Uh I think that's it for now. Okay. Great. Alright, we got a little bit of banking to do, and then I think we're gonna go out into the world and see what we can do. I need to look at our actually we'll do our some kingdom management first. Save Rage Claw? Oh, maybe I should have. That's, yeah, well, it's, it, the thing that's important to keep in mind is anything we sell, we can buy back if we need to, so. Yeah, not not too big of a deal. Flaming Bastard Sword is the name of my next band. Nice. While we're sitting with the four months, aren't you glad I didn't see with the four months? Thank you for that, dude. Uh, Dr. Y Protoss with the three years today, brother. Uh, we also have Y Mix with the two months, Boss Humbert with the new Mace 2K, with the two years today, Xander with the 32, Tri-War with the 57-month boop. Good God. And then we also have uh, Ed Voli dropping his new Prime sub here. Thanks for that, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Also, apparently I don't know how to spell the word sponsored in my title. That's fine, though. Thankfully, nobody noticed. <clears throat> Check braces of armor on Valerie. It might improve overall AC. You think so? I, I don't think so, man. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the armor kind of counterbalances that, unfortunately. More books. Um. Maybe I should start st uh, storing scrolls here. Oh, it moves the whole stack without. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, I'm gonna save the belt. The helmet, the necklace, the other necklace, the robes, that. Gonna keep the Paragon of Winter on me, gonna keep the cloak on me. That can go, those can go. Looking good. 
take a look at our barony. The boatman with the 51 months. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you very much for that, man. One inch man 87, how are you doing today? Good to see you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, I mean, look at all these buffs we got. Sexy. Sexy. Uh, so we, I don't think we have anything like urgent to do. I do want to get espionage up, but. We could do a quick, uh, well, nah. I don't think I'm gonna pass any time with this yet. I think I wanna do, I wanna at least get a Miri's thing done first. Yeah. Tarquinius, uh, no. I can say no for that, yeah. Do we still have a coffee emote? Uh, I don't know, I think Co Cup is still around there. It may be a free emote, maybe. Yeah, it's a free mode. <laughs> what happened with the sisters yesterday? Turned out they were evil incarnate. I need to catch my breath. Fun, right? Mm -hmm. Good times. Hey, Dark Devilly, how are you, bud? <laughs> All right. Oh wait 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 wait! Oh, one thing I did, one thing I didn't check. Did we actually get Varnhold? Like, do we own that area now? Um, very curious. Yes. Oh look at this! It's like a pre-built town. How cool! Oh, it's got a fort. Um, oh, I can put a lighthouse there. Let's put a lighthouse there. Boop. Uh, can I put a mage? Oh, can I put a mage tower? I can. I'm gonna put a mage tower right here. Bam. I kind of want to put a mansion right here. I'm kind of gonna do it. That just happened, chat. That just happened. This is the Varnhold Inn. Counts as an inn. We can put... What, can't we put something next to a fort? If we put a jail next to this, doesn't that... Plus one stability when adjacent to a fort. Damn. Over here we got a town hall. Nice. Town hall is an upgraded longhouse. So anything that applies to the longhouse should work. Um, oh, a printing house. That's pretty cool. Nethys' library. What do we have over here? We've got a monument on this side and a brewery on this side. So I think we can do a tavern, right? Plus one relations when adjacent to a longhouse. And it also affects the brewery. Oh, wait, do I have a tavern? No, I don't. Do I? Wait, is an is an inn a tavern? An inn is a tavern. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Um, plus one community when adjacent to a town hall. Plus one divine when adjacent to a temple, and plus one culture when adjacent to a museum. I kind of want to put a park up here. What's a museum? Oh, this guy. Oh. oh, how nice. Man, so many options, dude. Goblin Quarters? Affects Barbarian Arena? Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. Plus one loyalty when adjacent to a park. So we can put a park here. Or we can put a park there and then a cistern there.
So many good options. Can we make a courthouse? No. Are the walls wooden? Yes. Good call. Can anything else be upgraded? Upgrade. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's, let's try that. I don't have a park yet, so let's put a park up here. And we'll put a cistern next to it. Cool. Looking good, Varnhold. Looking good, my man. Upgrade to a marina. Bam. Awesome. All right. Uh, got here late. Co already constructed the leather artisan building, right? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I think I have to do that here, though, don't I? Where, where, where do I do that? This is killing me. Was I supposed to type my shout out as part of the yes reply to Coalition Bot after I sub? No, Boss Humbert. All that is is to flag me down that you'd like it red. Um, yeah. What you, but what you do is you, sh you should be able to pound your sub and that'll have the, the resub message and that'll show up in chat and then you get the whisper and then when you hit reply to that when you reply to that then it should pop everything in my notification queue. However, I don't see anything from you this morning. So... Barry, do you see something from Boss Humbert this morning? I, I don't see anything from him in my log. So, maybe that has something to do with it. Um, <laughs> but regardless, hey Boss, thanks for your support, dude. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, so I think... Do I have to build it here? Irina's Magical Rarity Shop. Applause, please. Okay, that's something we're going to want for sure. Hey, thanks, Fast Flicker. Appreciate that. Um, no, it wasn't here. So, what was it in? Oh, there's a kingdom project for the leather worker first. Yeah? I just typed a message in chat after I subbed. Oh, yeah, boss. That wouldn't have done it, unfortunately. That wouldn't have done it. It's, it's, all, it's all tied into the sub message. Yeah, yeah. I did it, but I was in chat. He was thanking you for being a streamer and how hard it is to start and thanking you for your YouTube videos for streaming. Oh, for sure. Awesome. Oh, yeah, there we go. And he just he just reposted it. Perfect. Thank you for that, boss. It's the best thing you could have done, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. And it's my pleasure. I'm, I'm glad we could help. Also, Rune Triple B with the gift bomb. Good God, dude. Thank you for that, my friend. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for it. Awesome, awesome. Um, I don't think I've done whatever I need to do for that leather worker, unless I already did it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's always great when someone does a gift bomb and then shortly after one of the people that got the bomb is like, oh, hey, thanks. It's kind of like, awesome. That's great. That's great. It's a seven day. Let's see, we're currently upgrading the capital. Um... I'm not sure which one it is. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the errand at the very bottom? No, that's a, that's assembling a militia. That that we're already doing. Is that part of it? Dark Hollow. Yeah, unfortunately, I was informed by Owlcat this morning not to do that quest right now. Uh, they have a patch coming out later today that, um... Oh, we're making leather chests for the militia. Oh, great. Okay, then we're good. We're good. But yeah. Mac, that is correct. You, you have assumed appropriately. Correct. Yeah, we won't have time, unfortunately.
Yet, uh, Dark Hollow, um, I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, it's too bad you weren't here at the beginning of the stream today, because basically what happened is, um, Owlcat has been following the playthrough a little bit, and they knew that I was going to be doing that quest first thing in the morning. And what they said is that I could go do the quest, but it will, it, it's not going to work properly. But there's a patch coming out today, hopefully around 2 p.m., that should fix it. So I'm thinking that's four and a half hours from now. Five, five and a half hours? Four and a half hours? Five and a half hours. So we definitely have to do other things between there and now and then. But, um, yeah. The big thing I heard, Dark Hollow, is that as long as we do Amiri's quest before Candlemere, then it should be okay. Um, of course, that could be inaccurate, but I'm, I'm hoping that's somewhat accurate. Man, this is going to be a completely different party. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is, like, completely different. Uh, Fried and Spanza, I'm going to be honest, it, it, it never, that never changes. I've been doing this for five years now. What you've, what you just said in chat has been happening for maybe a year and a half, a year. And it never, it never, like, it, I still, I still, when I got the message this morning, I was just like, awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. I did last week, there are two parts to it. Hour of Rage early and late. But yeah, Candlemere is what triggers the early late stages. I'm not sure if you did her companion quest, though, before Hour of Rage. I have Hour of Rage. That is, that is the quest. And that's the zone I'm supposed to be avoiding. Flint Rock Grassland is the, the zone I'm supposed to be avoiding. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do... Um, The big pre-Amiri save. And worst case, I may have to come back to it. And that's okay. Yeah, depending if you do... If you do Amiri's quest before the Barbarian Camp... Oh, wait, 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 Um... I can... So I can do Amiri's quest first? I can do this quest? the Glenabon Uplands. So I can go do this now. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, people are saying do not do that. Okay, good. Yeah, let's let's not do that. <laughs> okay. Um let's go check out some of these locations cuz these are all like in our territory now, I think. At least I know these are. So let's let's just go do a little bit of exploring. My lord, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And just to be clear, let me see exactly where our territory is. Yeah, I, I uh, checked out Dan's gaming last night to see where he was in his playthrough. And as far as I, like, as far as I could tell, I obviously didn't want to watch much for spoilers. I just kind of skipped around and looked. But from what I could tell, um, he didn't even do the Barbarian quest yet. So, and he's been like, he finished Act 3 like five hours ago, and he hasn't done any of that stuff yet. And I and I think his playthrough is going fine. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, man. Okay, so for the map... Oh, I don't have that region. Okay, so we have a little bit around Varnhold. And we do have a lot more stuff down here. But, damn it, I, I want this region. But that's okay, we can, we can duck in and out. And make sure that we keep up with our events. Love me some Dan subs. Societal Spoon, how are you, bud? He went to the Grasslands, then went to do other stuff. When Double asked if he was sure he wanted to start. Oh, he did? Oh, he did do the Grasslands first. Oh. Well, darn. Okay. Maybe I must have missed that. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I'm still, I still kind of want to wait. 
This, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do a little bit. Let's do a little bit of testing here. There's the Flint Rock Grasslands. Um, what we could do is we could go there right now and see how the event starts and stuff. So we'll have an idea about what to compare it to later. And that way, when we come back later, we can make sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fagarda says, I had to revert to 1.07 to finish Grasslands. Okay. You know what? No, I'm, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Screw it. I'm just going to wait. Let's go exploring, chat. Chat can tell me if I'm missing stuff, because you guys are really good about that, so we'll see. Oh, that was quick. Damn. I trust you guys. Zero to no, I'm waking up, dude. I'm waking up. Had a long night. We don't have any power. We haven't had, we haven't had any power since yesterday afternoon. Our generator's been running like for 14 hours straight. Or not that long, but a long time. Mmm. Your capital is now a busy city? Excuse me? Um. Falinor Lighthawk says, you trust chat? You fool! No, actually, chat has been completely awesome. Uh, chat, chat has been fantastic this run. Yeah, they've been super helpful. Oh my god! What? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna upgrade all the buildings first. Man, I can't believe how deep this part of the game is. Grand Temple. Forge. City Hall. Can I upgrade the brothel? Oh, I can't upgrade the brothel. Um, luxury store. Okay. A bank. Uh, I don't have a garrison anywhere, unfortunately. Not on the outside. Look at all these. Oh, there's uh, there's Eileen's Irene's magic. Plus one when adjacent to a tavern or longhouse. The inn's a tavern, right? Yes. Boom. Great. Um, mage tower. I think I'll stick one of those down here because I love having them in their own area for the plus three bonus. Boop. Noble villa. Interesting. That's a lot of bonuses. A sacred grove. Must be built adjacent to a monolith. That looks sort of like a monolith right there. No? <laughs> oh, well, worth a, worth a shot. Um, a theater. Increases culture by one for each adjacent building that increases culture. That's pretty cool. We could put a fort here, too. Yeah. Do we have a watchtower here? Can we put a watchtower here? Oh, we do have a watchtower. So we're going to put a fort here for sure. Boop. Let's also go do a, go ahead and do the uh, noble villa. Great. And do we have... The park is good next to a... Town hall, divine one adjacent to a temple... Oh, we can't put it next to the temple. Uh, although we could put another temple. We could do it up here. Oh my god, I only have 154 BP. <gasps> I need more BP. Mm -hmm. One sec, guys. Mm. Yeah, we can upgrade the wall. That's true. Quarzo, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Someone's at the door? Nah, it's probably just super windy out there. It's been really, really bad out there. Thankfully, it's a lot better now, but... Yeah, it's been nasty out there. You can upgrade the wall twice more? Oh, even better. Oh, look! 
That's weird. That I feel like that hasn't always been there like that. Good call, Reggae. Earol. Hey, Co, can you remind me what William Gibson book you recommend? Oh, it's called Neuromancer. N E U. N E U E R O? Ner no, it's Neuro. N E U R O M A N C E R. Neuromancer. Yeah. Book's awesome. I'm doing well, Ketterain. How are you, bud? Hello, hello. What do I put in my coffee? Little cream and sugar. All according to plan. Wait, Coke can read? Not very well. No. To be fair. We've just bought like over 2,000 build points in the last like five and a half minutes. Frying Pan uh, says, you're sponsored by Madrinas, right? Yes, we are sponsored by Madrinas. Co.tv slash coffee for all that information. Mm -hmm. yep. Evil Sockmaster with the five gift bomb. Thank you for that, my dude. Really appreciate it. Awesome. 